What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Hey, coming to you with another video. Vicky, Vicky, I don't know what's going on in my life. What ifs? Anyway. I am super duper excited about this video, you guys. But before I get into, well, like we already have a spoiler alert, hashtag spoiler alert, cause it's already in the description. Um, I am on, all the way on 100 and I have not had any coffee right now. I had some earlier this morning, but I am just high on life right now because, you know, God is just revealing some things to me and some exciting things are coming and um, I'm just excited. So anyway, if you have not joined the fan bam already, I definitely want to extend this invitation for you to come join the winner fam bam over here and so I just want to make sure that if you are watching videos and you're not subscribed I want you to go ahead and join turn the notifications on because if not you may miss an upload okay and as of right now I just know that I'm uploading weekly because your girl's pretty busy so I don't have an actual date at the moment but it's every week okay pumpkin <laughs> about this lipstick thing I am starting off with this lipstick that I have on simply because I wanted to get my selfie in real quick before we went to this video and I started swatching different lippies. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to rock any color lipstick. I only picked a few for this video, okay? Now, if y'all want me to do like a series of these videos where I show you different colors, let's do that. Let's, let's have fun with it. Put the colors you want me to do next in the comment section and we'll do that. Like, cause I love doing videos that show you guys how to do certain things. You know what I mean? So of course we're going to talk about this gray situation cause I'm all the way here for it. I'm going to talk about this green, which is something I rocked recently. I'm going to even put on, I thought this was black, but shoot, it's black enough. It is um, starry night. It is so dark that it looks black. I think it is black. So anyway, we're going to do black. We are going to do this purple that I wore recently that you guys on Instagram like turned all the way up, got all the way lit for this, this uh, color and the green. And then I have a nude as well because I do want to show you guys how I rock a nude when I rock a liner because this has like been my favorite concoction these days. But that's all I have here. I love my brown lippies. I love my red lippies. But because those are like, you know, comfort zone lipsticks that we tend to go, you know, tend to um, uh, 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 grab gravitate to, I want to veer away from that because I want you guys to know that you can rock whatever lippy you want to. I get so many messages where people are saying, I can't do that. You could rock any lipstick. You could wear any lipstick you want and it still looks hot and I could never do that. I would look like a clown. Da, 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 da. Mm -mm. Canceled, canceled, negative. We about to kill that right now. But First things first, I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks real quick. I don't know how many, you can count. <laughs> As I'm going, girl, I just took, I put down um, a couple of notes and I have my eyeshadow cause that is pretty important too. So let me grab that. Okay, so now this is how we about to rock it. It's two important factors and the bun, well, my little situation, we just gotta do like this to get her on in there. <laughs> And I'm gonna, um, I already took pictures for the thumbnail, so I'm excited, but I wanted to be all up in your grill so you could see the real, hey, hey, I told y'all I'm on a hundred right now. So if you can't take it, you might want to exit stage left right now. <laughs> but first things first, numero uno, in order for you to rock various lipsticks, many colors, right? Blue, red, green, all these different colors. You got to have the number one thing that is so vital, that is so imperative that you can't do this without that. All right. You got to put on your confidence, girl, because why? Confidence, confidence is key, key, ladies. You, you know, know what, what I mean? A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Hey, hey. Y'all know that's my song that I play at the end, right? But you have to have confidence, okay? Because here's the thing. This goes for the clothes you rock. This goes for the makeup you rock, the lipstick you rock, all that good stuff. If you feel like you look good and you are comfortable with how you look, that right there, you know, will make it look good. If that makes sense. Like if you feel good and you're confident about the way that you're rocking it, like other people may not like this. Like my kids may say, mom, that gray lipstick. Mm. And then I'm like, no, you, mm. cause like I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself and I like it. And if I like it, that's all that matters. And when I rock it and my, my confidence is exuded, right? It's just kind of oozing out. Then people are going to be like, you know what? I probably wouldn't rock that, but that's hot on you. Like you did that, right? 
that's because it's confidence. Number two, <laughs> this is kind of funny and it's kind of a joke, but put your big girl panties on. You gonna have to. Don't worry about what people gonna think and be like, I could do it. But before we get into the colors, here's another thing I'm gonna tell you. It is, and this this doesn't this doesn't um, ring true in every situation. But as you are starting out rocking different color lipsticks, I would say that you want to rock a neutral eye. Do I always do that? Absolutely not. I'm gonna give you some. I'm gonna show you right now. So I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, well, cause I gotta stay where it's focused. But I am rocking rocking a green lipstick and I am rocking green eyeshadow and I'm rocking a green outfit where they do that at right up and through here that's where they do it and I did the purple that I'm also going to show you guys where I was that's so bright where I was rocking a purple shirt and a purple lippy okay so I did a bunch of matchy matchy you don't always have to do that and I I probably would not match the eyeshadow with the lipstick as you are starting off but it's very imperative that in the beginning so that you can just get you know to the levels of comfort that you need to be at to use a um an eyeshadow that is a perfect crease color that will just kind of give you a contour i did a little bit more than a contour but i do have a natural eye and i love a wing a wing is natural for me because that's how i get down you may want to kind of cut out the wing if you want to you can you don't necessarily have to do a wing but the eyeshadow that i chose today i was going to do a little tutorial for you guys but i wanted to focus more on the lipstick so i figured i I would just tell you what I'm rocking. This is so fun. I'm so excited about this video. I, I hope y'all feeling it. I hope y'all feeling it. But this is um, Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear, right? And I picked Cocoa Bear because Cocoa Bear, um, even though it has some warmth to it, is not as warm as the other eyeshadows that I've been rocking a lot right and that the reason i didn't want to go as warm i wanted more of a cool tone brown is because i knew that my lipstick of the day was going to be the gray bars now if i was going to do like a gray smoky eye or something like that i would have picked all kind of gray tones but i wanted something where i can explain to you guys you know what to do so i all i have on is three eyeshadows right now and you could totally skip three and do two but i put the makeup geek coco bear in my crease and then a broken palette because i love it so much she's yes we've been through some things mm -hmm. yeah no judging um so i took this color rich in my morphe palette right here as you can see i love it and then i put it in the crease right here but i did it kind of like in a um i angled it in the crease right kind of i don't want to say a v because it's definitely not a v all i did was do a slanted line and then i blended it and then i put a little bit in my lash line and then i took the same palette and I went into the shade universal that is just just shameful guy the way that looks I, I, I Morphe I need another 3502 like are they back just saying um so I took that color universal and I just put it on my brow bone per the use like I always do that like we've been through some things me and this palette have been through some things so no judging okay okay this is a judge free zone safe zone okay <laughs> and so I do have some deeper grays so sometimes I do lean towards the grays if I'm gonna do gray because aquaphor is my zhuzh y'all know that like I got the like like life-size <laughs> aquaphor because I love her so just put a little love put a little love on your lips now I'm about to use this pencil by um, Colourpop it is Shayla and Colourpop it's a collaboration they did and this is BFF4 and so I'm also gonna use the makeup Shayla and Colourpop collaboration um this is called slow down i believe it's from caution as well that caution set i did a video on that but this one is my favorite but not by itself baby so i just line it i don't really like um i'm not super precise when i'm doing this but when i get around that cupid's bow baby cupid's bow makes makes all things great and so it, we make some things happen with that so i do i do take um special care when i get there then after i put this lip liner on right here i bring it right here and i don't wear this all the time because this is just a lot right and then this right here is the slow down and i just take it and literally put it right there and start blending with this color because i, I kind of like that 90s vibe and I may kind of take it in my finger and do like this. Boom, shake, shake it. Boom, boom, shake, shake it. Mm, 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 mm. I just wanted to give you a little nude and that right there goes bomb with this kind of brown tone neutral eye. 
right? This purple is by Makeup Geek. It is the Makeup Geek Plush Matte, and this is in the shade Wild Child. And it's the same concept, you guys. It's the same concept. Just look at how it goes. I start kind of in the center, right? I don't know. You might not want to do that. And I kind of, just to see how it's going to work, see if I want to rock it, you know what I mean? And then I kind of draw it right here. I outline it with the stick and I do believe that this is why I love liquid lipsticks now if you are a bullet um, lipstick type person then liner will probably work for you otherwise um, what I usually do which I don't have a bullet lipstick in front of me I usually turn the bullet lipstick around to the pointy side and that is what I use as a liner if I'm using a bullet lipstick but P to be honest I really don't like go I don't gravitate to the bullet lipsticks that much anymore when you're wearing bright colors like this, please attention to detail. That's the ticket, okay? Can't be all looking crazy and have it bleeding and whatnot. Boom, just shake it, see? And now, to be honest, if I were to rock a lippy like this, you can go with this neutral eye or you can simply put on the concealer or some concealer that is your same shade, your skin tone, and just set it with powder, put on some lashes, put a wing liner or not, okay? And you could just go like that. That will work as well. Like I don't even have to have the contour on the eyes. But here you go, that purple. You see, I didn't do a liner or nothing. It's just like, boom. This is Makeup Geek Twerk, and then we're gonna do the black, and then I'm gonna put my gray back on. Now this one, I had to, I felt like I had to work with it a little bit because it kinda was fading. Like I had to build it up. Like you see how it starts off opaque, but then as I blend it, it kinda fades. It's a little bit sheer, so I just go over it. Uh-oh. What I did, I think, when I rocked it was I went like this so that I could get that opacity I wanted. I can go in more on this one, but I'm not, because we have one more lippy to do and I have to put my other one back on. But again, this is another lippy, this is green, and I didn't do anything special other than put it on with you know my already beat face, but I will tell you, that rocking different color lipsticks it does look great when you have your makeup like set in place really nice okay if you just get up and you're just walking out the door and you're not doing no color correcting and you're not kind of you know putting your foundation on making sure it's blended perfectly then beware caution the lippy may not look all that great okay so try to make yourself look sim like kind of flawless and then it kind of makes the lippy pop and then it kind of works together you know what i mean they bounce off each other so i wouldn't do if i wasn't wearing makeup i probably would not try a uh, popping lippy like this I, I wouldn't do this with nothing on my face because mm -mm, it just it wouldn't balance it out to me let me see let me swatch it yeah it's so deep that it looks black but i think we're gonna roll with that and it, it's pretty much almost black now this is this is black it is mm -hmm. this is la girl starry night and it's a glitter lippy though it's so juicy and smells so good baby we doing this today mm -mm. i'm leaving this one on because i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself hey i'm leaving it i'm so glad i did this video for y'all because i was not gonna wear this i forgot i had it i'm gonna have to take a whole another selfie because i'm feeling myself let that dry a little bit let me see so that it gets well it's supposed to have that glitter effect but um i think i'm gonna rock it just like that i thought this was really like a purple but it's giving me all kinds of like deep blue vibes so anyway this is it i just wanted to show y'all that you can rock whatever lippy you want and if you guys want to do i remember years ago i started um a series called how to make your lipsticks wearable y'all this is like when i first started youtube back in like 2012 2013 and i think that i may want to bring it back if you guys want to see it i will bring it back i love showing you guys like how to do things that you didn't think you could do you understand what i'm saying take your makeup game to another level have fun with makeup don't look at it like oh my god i can't do that oh i gotta stay in this box oh i gotta go nude oh i gotta do a gloss i can't do no you can do whatever you want to do and i mean don't try this in corporate america okay it's okay to play in makeup it washes off they have an awesome blessed day and i will see you sooner than you think bye oh i gotta turn it off <laughs> Confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty.